This is part two in my series on troubleshooting a severe diesel engine shake at idle. I'm not talking about shaking at high speed. Basically, if the engine shakes at idle excessively, why is it doing that? How do you, how do you fix that? We get a lot of questions like this via email and from our customers. So we had in review in part one, I showed you how badly this particular 300D was shaking at idle. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link below. Go back and watch part one before we continue here because this video isn't going to show the before. It's only going to show the after. So in review, I just, once again, when I'm doing these type of problems, I like to do one thing at a time. You know, if you kind of shotgun everything and say, oh, I'm going to just fix everything, you never really know what the real problem was. So what I decided to do, based on my knowledge of the engine, what had been done previously, I decided to change the fuel injectors. And I also asked for input from you viewers on what you thought the problem might be. So the injectors have been replaced with ones that were recently rebuilt with our Monarch nozzles. And the owner has driven the car for about a week. And he has reported an amazing change. So what I want to do now is I'm going to start the engine up and then I'll come back and we'll take a close look at what the engine's doing and then we're going to talk more specifically about why the injectors probably help solve this problem. All right, let's take, take a look at this. Now don't expect a diesel engine like this to be as smooth as a gas engine, but look at the difference. Sure, there's some vibration here, but we've eliminated that pulsating shake that you saw in part one. Once we bring it off idle, it's going to really smooth out. You can hear those injectors quiet down, too. Once again, back at idle. Now, I would say that you got to admit, it's certainly a lot better than what we saw in part one. So why was the engine shaking so badly with the old injectors? Well, to understand that, you have to understand a little bit about how these uh, mechanical fuel injectors work. They release at a certain pressure, and when they release, the spray exits a tip and goes into the engine. That's put it, putting it very simply. And it's possible to adjust the internal release pressures in the injector. So over time, through wear, the pressures will change. And when the pressure changes, it affects the timing. Yes, that's right. If you get too high a pressure, it's going to delay the, the fire timing a little bit. You get too low a pressure, it's going to be firing too early. You follow me so far? So if you have a bunch of old, worn out injectors that aren't balanced properly, and by balanced I mean that they're all releasing at the same pressure. For these Mercedes turbo diesel engines, it should be around 1900 to 1950 PSI at the point when that nozzle opens up and allows fuel to spray into the engine. The other thing is, if they're not spraying or misting evenly, you may be getting one injector that's squirting. So it's actually flooding the engine while maybe another one is providing the fine mist to get immediate firing while the other one is delayed to, to an excessively rich or actually flooding the pre-chamber with fuel. So that's why you get the inconsistent firing at idle. Now, when you speed the engine up, of course, uh, these engines are amazing. They'll run all kinds of bad injectors, but really the bad injectors will usually show up at idle through a lot of roughness. They'll show up through a lot of smoke at high speed, and they'll also show up through noise, clanking, hammering, and that's caused because the, the injector nozzles wear and the pintle, the needle, hangs up, and it'll make a clink, 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 and you get that snapping or clanging noise. So all those all those things are symptoms of worn out or poorly performing fuel injectors. The answer is to replace them with Monarch nozzles. Our Monarch nozzles are actually a better nozzle than what the original Bosch were. Uh, they, they, they spray a finer mist pattern. You're going to experience a, a better fuel economy. And what we found over the years, a lot of people, the injectors is the last thing they'll think about. They'll, they'll you know, uh, change the motor mounts, change this, adjust the rack dampener, 
adjust the valves and do all kinds of things before they even think about the fuel injectors. Now granted, uh, rebuilt and fuel injectors are kind of expensive, but there's so many benefits, including fuel economy, you'll probably recoup your money in years of driving. So what we did is we came up with a way for people to rebuild their own fuel injectors. And I'm sure if you've watched my other videos or have been to my website, you know that this is one of our key products. This pop tester that we build here in our shop in the U.S. is the way you can test these at home on your own workbench. And it requires you to disassemble the injector. You, in order to change pressure, you're going to have to change the thickness of shims that are located inside the halves of this injector. And of course, you're going to need to install the nozzle and then go through the testing procedure to set the balance pressures for all the injectors. This is not rocket science. Let me tell you, folks, this is something you can do yourself and you'll be very proud when you're all done, say, wow, does my engine ever run well? So if you think that you, your injectors are old and been there for years, I highly recommend you consider over, overhauling them with our Monarch nozzles. And we have all the resources. We have kits, we have uh, shims, we have dial calipers that you'll need to measure the, the shim thickness. Just follow the links in the show more below. I'll take you to all those products on my website. And we can really help you to get your engine your old diesel engine to run more smoothly. Now there may be other things. I'm sure uh, some of the comments I got in part one were correct. And I'm going to go over each of those. In part three, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summarize all the things that could possibly cause your diesel engine to shake like that at idle. And then in subsequent videos, we'll kind of break it down and go through each one of them. Things like adjusting the rack damper. How does a rack damper work? Things like uh, motor mounts, how does that affect? Uh, valve timing, uh, chain timing, you've got, uh, you know, all those things that can affect the, the smoothness of your diesel engine. We hope to cover them in the future. I should warn you, whether or not I put a lot of emphasis in this future series will, will depend a lot upon the feedback that I get in these first two or three parts in this series. So I hope we can help you get your old diesel running smoothly again.